in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you're welcome to another spirit filled message on fifty centric message if you're new to this channel I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted unto you and then God is going to visit you your way thank you for watching be blessed The goal of my teaching tonight is to reveal three things. Number one, that it is true that the dominion, blessing, and mandate that God gave man is not a scam, it's not fake. God actually gave man dominion over earth. But that number two, it will take God and man in partnership for any divine program to find expression in the earth god limited himself that way it will take god and man please hear me god and man for your destiny to rise god and man for there to be exploits in your life god and man for your church your ministry to rise god and man for your business to rise if god says yes and man says no Yes remains in the realm of the spirit. But if yes must transport itself to this domain, he must say yes, and a man on earth must say yes. The spirit and the bride say come. From the foundations of the earth, the lamb was slain, yet nobody was saved from that. The lamb had to assume a mortal human body, and he came and walked for 33 years and died a physical death the death of Jesus was not a parable it was not a vision he died truly with blood as the evidence his resurrection was not a vision when he resurrected in glory watch this I have told you one of the major reasons why we believe that Jesus will return is because he went to heaven with his body so whatever will limit him from coming back to the earth has been taken away he does not need a virgin to return back he needed it the first time but now he returned back to heaven and he's seated at the throne as a man so human bodies can transit this realm and they can sit down that's why i know that we can arise and we can also go and as we are going there is a translation in this body Mortality will be swallowed up by immortality, the Bible says. You have to know what your Christian faith is founded upon. If not, you will just be nodding, oh, it's this, my pastor said this, and yet not have any authority in the spirit. As far as you can see, it says to you, I have given. You will now know why we make decrees in the spirit. How do you speak about your office right here? That you are not you are you are standing here and you are declaring in the name of Jesus destiny helpers are coming by what authority are you speaking when Satan took Jesus up the mountain Jesus did not rebuke him if you understand authority eh, it will change your life look at this the Bible says demons tremble and all of that at the name of Jesus. But Satan is carrying Jesus in his earth walk and playing with him like toys. Lifting him up a mountain and telling him, bow down to me and I will give you this. For it was given to me. Given by who? Given by man. Man did not know that all my manipulations in the garden was to transfer that authority now i have it i can give it to whomsoever i want but when jesus died when he resurrected he went to hell first 
and collected the keys the bible says it that key you see is what we gave satan access but now he collected it and he rose again with it and he gave it back to us all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me it says go therefore go with the consciousness of that authority not just the authority by reason of being a human species now authority by being in christ listen when you stand before principalities and powers and tell them i am joshua selman you are talking nonsense mm -mm. you stand there as touching the authority that you represent blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who speaks in the name of our God blessed is he who sings in the name of our God Blessed is he who heals in the name of our God. We do it in the name of our God. Ah. In the name of our God. Jesus said, in my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, carry my name as you go with it. In my name, in my name, stand in my office as you cast out devils. In my name, you will know that the name he gave you is not the pronunciation J-E-S-U-S. -S. There are footballers called Jesus. Their names do not heal. In the name. hallelujah the Bible says wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name the name he gave you is not J-E-S-U-S J-E-S-U-S is the earthly name of the one that name was given to the word name means an office a delegation he was given an office and that every believer in Christ can walk in that office. Are we together now? You can walk in that office. And that that office is so powerful. Listen. Let me teach you something. I'm, I'm rushing ahead of myself. We're going to pray. By reason of being a human body. Or wearing a human body. Listen carefully. Your function in the earth is legitimate, but you may ne not necessarily be efficient. Your efficiency in the spirit is more than just being a human being. You must be joined to Christ and you must have that name. Now the, the zone and the scope, the limitation of your authority is the limitation of the name. So it does not matter whether it is an ancient spirit somewhere, it does not matter whether it's an invisible realm somewhere. Ordinarily, as a human being, I can only correct and control things within my visible domain. But now I have been given a name that took off that boundary. Are we together now? So I can stand and speak, and even in the invisible realm. Hear me. The only person who does not submit to that name is God because he was the one who gave the name to Jesus <laughs> ah. of things in heaven of things in the earth read your Bible of things under the earth I hope you know that when he gave man dominion in Genesis 1 26 the scope of it was just earth but now the name Read the dominion mandate that was given to the man, not the regenerate man in Christ. When Jesus came, 
he gave man something more excellent. That name you are given has authority and establishes your dominion not just in the earth alone, of things in heaven, of things in the earth, and of things under the earth. It's a spiritual location. This is the basis. Because can I tell you, every manipulation of witchcraft functions within these three realms. The realm of the heavens, the realm of the earth, the realm under the earth. Now you have been given a name that gives you immunity. It's for you to have that understanding. If you understand the power of the name, So let it not surprise you when you see demons running away because you showed up. You are coming in the name. You can do business in the name. Please don't miss next week's meeting. The Lord gave me a revelation of altars years ago. I did a teaching on the altar of prayer. And in it, I taught how that, you see, you will now understand the relevance of things like prayer, sacrifice, all of these things. If you just do them blindly because they said do it, you will not get any blessings from it. It's the reason why many people have done it and nothing has worked for them. You will be learning about the mystery. An altar is not a demonic word. It's a powerful word. Because the very throne that God is sitting on is an altar. The very throne is an altar and he sits upon that altar as many things one of it I'll be teaching you next week is the advocate Shalaka ah. broskedia <laughs> it says we have an advocate with the father even Jesus the righteous when you understand his power of advocacy it now brings the cure to causes and bloodlines and legal holds there is the ministry of the advocate you need to understand what he does as the advocate hallelujah because there are many believers and I will keep telling you this we can live in denial but you continue to see patterns following people you can you continue to see a lot of things if time allows I will show you in the Bible great people who did not survive they did not conquer the patterns that came with them and they were victims of it including john the baptist including G judas i will tell you one of the reasons why they died early when you look at the life of john look at the kind of pain and sorrow the mother had Number one, they had delay in childbirth. Is it in your Bible? After delay for a long time, then John comes and then his whole life of adulthood was in the wilderness. And he only manifested for just a few years. Ordained Jesus to ministry, got into trouble and died under the hands of a little girl as a birthday gift. Add it up. Is that how God rewards people? But that is the power of altars. They don't care whether you're a man of God. They don't care whether you're a businessman. Look, let me tell you the truth. Come next week ready to pray. We're going to pray a bit. You see, I'm, I'm wrapping up. Don't think this time is for you to go home early. We're going to take time and pray and pray for God's sake. This is the season where you must break out. Hear me? True story. Years ago, a man of God came to see me. That was in Zaria. And the man of God was saying several things were going wrong in his life. And as soon as I sat down, I used to sit down counseling that time. And suddenly my eyes were opened. And I saw this strange spirit standing behind him. And I was, because, you know, respectfully speaking, he was talking very arrogant. He didn't look like he was willing to learn anything. And I told him, I said, sir, please, if you will allow me, I want to pray for you. I see a spirit. He said, no, 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 don't bring all that thing. I just want you to agree with me. I said, all right, how do I help this man now? I said, all right, no problem, let's pray. I said, in Jesus' name. It was after maybe two, three hours, that guy got up from the ground. 
He went back and for more than three days, he kept sending a text. He said, Apostle, you have rubbish my theology. I said, no, that's not the goal. I'm only expounding to you the way of the kingdom more perfectly so that you will understand. Can I tell you, most of you, by reason of this series, honestly, you will be surprised to see the things that start happening. Doors of jobs, doors of opportunities. Hear me. Help them, please. Help them. One of the major things that will be addressed in this series, you see, is the patterns of sicknesses, ill health, these mysterious sicknesses you see, high blood pressure, uh, BP, doctors will tell you, medicine is being challenged with conditions right now that are defying medical explanations. The machine will tell you, I am fine, but I know something is wrong. They put three, four, five pints of blood in a patient and you don't know the patient did not go to toilet, the patient did not, is not bleeding, and they don't know where everything disappeared to. Hands that are tied down, that cannot move forward. Women who labor and never eat from their children, they don't know why. Anytime somebody is about to rise and expand, those altars come again altars are systems of authorization you don't cast them away no there is a legitimate ground upon which they exist even in the bible there is something called the foundation of the lord is it in your bible listen i have seen by reason of what I do, I have seen witchcraft. I have seen ignorance. I have seen people ignore certain things. There is no believer seated who by default. Now, I respect people's opinion across the body of Christ, but let me tell you this. The things we have seen, the things we have heard, the things our hands have handled, the devil can be silent over you for 30 years and make you feel you are free. But the day that thing will arise. Hallelujah. I once prayed for a woman. There is no single man in her life. All the men have just died like that. Very silly reasons. Whether you come from the north, the south, the east, the west, the middle belt, I don't care. For as long as you came from the earth, this series is for you. You will have to sit down and tell yourself, it is time to walk in dominion. God gave me that dominion. I cannot continue to regret where I'm coming from as if it's a cause. Some of you right now, you have even lied and change your geography where you are coming from because it has looked like such a stigma in your life they say where are you coming from you say zion i agree i agree in christ you come from zion but physically people will find one story do you know people are tearing their indigenous certificates and looking for other regions they think have lesser evils there's no such phenomenon like lesser evil the whole world lieth in wickedness I have seen great people go down. I have seen powerful preachers not know how to exert dominion with understanding. Africa prays. Let me tell you the truth. If half of our prayer was done with understanding, we would have overturned several things now. The way we continue to go dissipating energy in ignorance will only bring pain to ourselves. It says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. When God made that verdict, let them have dominion. It was not only you that heard it. Satan heard it. The spirits heard it. Let them, the men I have created, that Adam, have dominion. Over the air. Over the sea. These are realms. The sea. Do you know why 
we'll leave that for another time do you know why it had to be the sea that drowned Egypt do you know that it was not land that ate them up the song of Miriam remember I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea there is a particular terrorist in the world who when they killed him they did not bury him they threw him in the sea there is a mystery this sea you see is very old there is no human being who is as old as water water is one of the three witnesses on earth because it does not leave earth it only recycles that means what you are drinking only God knows how many people have, have taken it. The water in your fridge now, it didn't come from water, but it's been recycled from region to region. Forget about the wrong use of it and some of them, you know, the, the extra biblical practices around it. That's not what I'm teaching you. I'm just telling you that there is a very deep mystery. You will be amazed at the testimonies that will come from here. There are some of you who will go to bed and suddenly see spirits appear and say bye-bye. That's it. Bye-bye. Help them please. Bye-bye. Once and for all. Bye-bye. And the moment that happens, you will just hear that five ladies that have been buried, all of them like that. Listen. I went to preach in Shiroro years ago and I remember when I got there I've shared this with you there was a very strange occurrence that I saw that as soon as we, I don't know if there's a medical explanation but women will give birth and then they will become deaf and dumb immediately after giving birth maybe there's a medical explanation I'm not a doctor and I noticed there were a number of them listen one of the things you will be learning huh, is the power. Altars create patterns. You know what a pattern is? A pattern is an occurrence that works in cycles. So you find out that regions have patterns. Individuals have patterns. There are names. There are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a shoe will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. I have encountered spirits in my life, not just angels, not just Jesus. I have encountered many demon spirits in my life. Believe me. Spirits over regions. Spirits over families. Spirit over territories. And most people do not know. There are families under mysterious manifestations. The moment someone prospers in that family, a dangerous disease is introduced in that family at the same time and the money of the people continue to deplete the person will never die till they become broke by the time that is done and that's the end of it is the reason why we hardly have third or fourth generation anything in Africa now I know that there is a major part of our thinking and our understanding we have not sadly submitted ourselves to transformation. It has its place. But to think that lack of mental transformation is the only cause of our problems, think again. That would be foolish thinking. Hallelujah. The last story I will give you and then we'll begin to pray. I had the privilege years ago to visit a gold mine. And when I went there, we're having a discussion and the locals within that land true story they told me they have a superstition or so around that region they believe that the gold is a living thing and that it moves so before they begin the mining 
there has to be a medium or a priest a system of appeasal you appease the gold so they say if you don't appease the gold the engineers can come and tell you there is gold here by the next day you will come there and you'll find out that the machines cannot detect it again so literally they had their stories that the goals were moving around so the only way to begin to mine people still do this even in construction today in nigeria there are construction sites before they start as for every digger that hits the ground somebody is dying and one chief will call and say you people are foolish people you went to school but you don't have spiritual intelligence if you keep digging this ground you will die one by one and they will come and meet the person and they will say go and bring one goat in the night now and after they slaughter the person they can do the bridge across the sea because the spirits have been appeased you will see the spirit say who is disturbing us there are people who prosper and spirits come to them and say i've not eaten and you are eating we will see who should eat first and all of a sudden business that should increase you just goes down listen i will teach you the whole counsel of god dominion is not a cheap word oh i, I, I let them have dominion it is a it is a word that thrives on superior spiritual intelligence hallelujah this is what creates an unfair advantage between people i know the limitations that come by reason of where i come from i have studied it i have seen it it would be stupid for me to deny it but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph are we together do you know why nathaniel said about jesus can anything good come out of nazareth did jesus ever say he's lying find out why can anything good come out of nazareth there is a track record we see their behaviors was samson not a nazarene how did he die was it not the covenant of a nazarene that at the prime of his life he just died he said can anything good in other words this man will not last there is a cause that comes with nazarenes they don't last over anything they are doing please hear what i'm telling you don't say i'm in america don't say i'm in europe i mean that's why you see people respectfully speaking they can spend decades abroad and yet nothing happens to them hear me some of you here you are the only ones now god has brought because as far as your family is concerned until a savior arises there, there will be catastrophe believe me I have seen evil that is under the sun one time I was praying I was in a prayer and fasting program the first time I would encounter a spirit no I was not fasting then I was just praying and behind the place where there used to be a generator I turned there and I saw a spirit and he said get back that's what he told me and the next thing I just started praying in tongues what is this roaming around the earth the second time I was praying and I remember very clearly my 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 roof just disappeared my ceiling and here I'm seeing this spirit that looks like a dinosaur giant eyes looking like human eyes as big as a human head one of the eyeballs and it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it fuming with anger and he looked at me and said so you can you want to bring god's people you think you can bring god's people into abundance and that was the end of it after that encounter it was that the gates oh listen may may cause be upon me if i'm lying to you and i'm here to manipulate and deceive you i love you too much to waste your time let me tell you the truth 
before you think I'm wasting your time I want you to look at your life with sincerity and truth and you will know that you need this it's time to really take dominion if you're a man of God here or the call of God is upon your life please hear me because we are the ones who are most under attack in this season by reason of these altars and the patterns they create just answering the call and being anointed is not enough you don't know this your life and your relevance will be cut short in a way you will not be able to explain but one of the things I'm hoping today and next week will deal with I'm saying it again is the origin of mysterious infirmities blood conditions whatever it is genotype conditions please make sure you invite everybody you love it's time to walk in victory otherwise we'll keep quoting scripture and jumping up and down and our lives will not capture this can i tell you this hear me i made a vow and a covenant with god i said lord whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family i obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that i will fight it with my life taking advantage of the victory that is in christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray. Please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away till there's no fear. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Let every other name fade away. hear me I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is HIV and the person said I can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound I like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ say it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority I am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying Shh. 
Sabagata barate kete balaka to shoprondos. Ekrete ke barato soto brenda kete balaka dia. Shakete praska te balaka ta. Embraka ta baraka to shada kete. Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. He bate ka baraka to shkedia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life i declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray i take my place i take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by god to find expression in my life in this season i declare i take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada ba gade ba kata brande gade ba la sosia. Ebra katosh kodo brande gade ba lekata. Shabrande gade ba ruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shekete pakata balakatosh. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of Jesus I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life I command depart now open your mouth and pray Depart fibroids, depart high blood pressure, depart cancer, depart someone pray tumors, growths, depart Belakatosh Kadila Pariata, blood conditions, depart. Shagata bagata bagatos kate, embra teka baruso segete balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents
Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare through the ministry of men, let it gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. God is a God of portions. God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death, negative things, closed doors. I reject it. Someone pray. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth, is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God. 
and can stand in partnership hold on that means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water provided is one of these elements did the bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural i decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me i have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and God said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one two three and god created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life, for my assignment through the ministry of men. I declare, let it be released unto me. Go ahead and pray. Let the waters bring forth abundantly. Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragadebalagata proskoto balando shaliatas.
Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment. I can reject an appointment that you give me. We can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it. Is that true? Please look up. For there to be an appointment, it means there must be some sort of consent, even if not mutual. There has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa, you expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed, even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children, and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they, through ignorance, have signed in for that appointment, or someone before them already made the appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ, Every appointment, whether by covenant, whether by ignorance, or by disobedience, with the spirit of death, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Help them, please. Let it be canceled now. Open your mouth and pray. By the greatness of your power, preserve those who have been appointed to die. Someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We have one last prayer. Please look up. And this prophetic prayer is dedicated to Nigeria. Listen carefully. You see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest? Go and read the book of Esther. You will find out that Haman and the plotters of evil, they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack. I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at will. No. They consult with the constellations. And they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength, you will be a victim of several casualties. It is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful. Their advantage is not in their physical armory, I tell you this. Their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit. And it is good for us to pray, but for God's sake, prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date and even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, it says there is power. It said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. If you refuse to plant in a farm, something will still grow. The name is weed. In elementary science or agriculture, they define wheat as weed as unwanted. Are we together? Unwanted plants. While men slept. Hear me. 
we are going to make decrees. Every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation, in this city and around, please don't say it does not concern you. Don't make the mistake of Esther. When her man was plotting evil, Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning. He said, do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us, you will be spared. For you do not know whether it is for such a time as this. Everyone who has been kidnapped, even those killed, they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you. Don't forget that you have not, you have not stopped moving. You too move out in the morning and in the night. So don't say it does not matter. Shout this from the depth of your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take my place as one who has authority. And I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed, the spirit of terrorism, the spirit of oppression around our land, the spiritual power that supports you, we break it right now. Go ahead and pray. The covenants that support you be broken. The altars that support you be broken. The enchantments that support you be broken. The priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north, we prophesy to the south, we prophesy to the east, we prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you. Listen. Listen. You have to reject bad news between now and December. You, you, your, your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time. It is within your power. Yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees. Are we together? You are going to mention the name of everyone, including yourself, and declare. The Bible says the name of the Lord is not only a weapon of victory, it is a strong tower. The righteous can enter and they are saved. Begin to mention the name of your loved ones, your spouse, your children, your parents. Lord, we declare covering, prophetic covering. They are exempted from the arrows that fly by day, exempted from the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand shall fall by your side, 10,000 by your right side. None shall harm you. With your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked. Hallelujah. Let me make one decree over your life and we're done. Revelations 3 and verse 8. Revelations 3 and verse 8. Let's start from 7 and 8. Revelations 3. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, these things 
saith he that is holy, he that is true, and hath the key of David. He that openeth, and no man. Did you see that? So who are those that shot? Who are those that shot? And who are those that open? He had the key of David. He opened it. That means if you don't have the key of David, you can open a door that a man can shut. You can shut a door that the man can open. But it says, he that had the key of David. And by the mystery of the key of David, that a door can be opened that no man can shut. And shut and no man can open. Verse 8. It says, I know thy works. Behold, I who has the key of David, I have opened before thee. It says, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because I acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit and according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting, be open and remain open. Doors of restoration, be open and remain open. Doors of opportunity, be open and remain open. Doors of speed, be open and remain open. Hear me? I release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of david has opened makesh kalibaratasiata May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. The giver of all good things. In Jesus' name I pray. Now please listen. Listen. I, I want you to be disciplined as God grants grace. We are touching something very serious and sensitive in the realm of the spirit. So may I request that you devote some extra time in prayer. Don't just hear this and go back, not out of fear. You are taking advantage of this and you are praying. What are you praying? Declaring your dominion. Before you go to bed, you declare by the spirit, in the name of Jesus I declare, the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. Don't think it is a childish thing to do. You declare over your ministry, your life, declare over everyone. Finances, if you are sick in your body, let this be your approach throughout this week. In the name of Jesus, I declare that by his stripes I am healed. On Sunday again, please, I beseech you by the mercies of God, we are waiting upon the Lord. I know it may not be easy, but God will grant you grace. Are we together? It's better for you to push through and walk experientially in total victory. Please, whatever you do, let me speak especially across the body of Christ and all who are connecting. I want to teach you something as we look at part two. Please, come and learn 
about the mystery of altars. I want to teach you spiritual systems of authorization. How you can unlock and unlock mysteries. And you will be surprised at the things that will change in your life. The Lord brings this word because he loves us. And he brings this word because the set time has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. If you are not born again, you are in trouble. Simple. There is no need wasting your time. If you are not born again, after all this, please hold on. Let's respect the Lord and not move around. What, every time we talk about salvation, there are people who already by default, there are altars and causes and all kinds of things that stand. You cannot afford to ignore Jesus. So I am making an altar call for those who came for the first time, those who have been around, and you are saying, Apostle, I truly need to be delivered from the power of darkness and to be translated into the kingdom of his dear son. Number two, there are those who are saying, my life is not the way it should be. I need rededication. I need to hand over everything properly to Jesus. I'm going to count one to five. Please, very boldly, I want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here. At the count of five, I'll begin to pray. Koinonia, celebrate them. One. Please run to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Two. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Come. For your glory. Be lifted high. Be lifted high, be lifted high, for your glory, Three, if you're coming, please come quickly. Be lifted high, be lifted high. Apostle, I want to come, but I think I'm safe. I'm not sure. Join them quickly. There is no such thing as not sure. You are saved or not. If you are not sure, join them and verify right now. Jesus being here, you can know for sure that you are saved. He said, ye must be born again. Now, please lift your right hand. I salute you for coming, all of you and those who are watching uh, online by way of internet. Thank you for your bold decision. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Appreciate your courage to come and stand before Jesus himself. He is able to fix our destinies and to give us new beginnings. Say this loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Those who are coming, please, if you are coming for the altar call, please run. Help those under the anointing. Um, the confession is important. It's not just coming to the altar. If you come to the altar and the only thing you say is amen, you are not saved. You are sincere, but you are not saved. That, that prayer of confessing the lordship of Jesus and receiving him in your heart is very important. All right, so let's say this. Say in the name of... Oh, I, I thought I'm, I'm confessing and declaring the word. Are you ready now? Are you settled? Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe with my heart that you died for me and I confess with my mouth that you were raised from the dead. Right now, I declare that I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that Jesus is my Savior, my Lord, and my King. From tonight and forever, I go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these precious ones. You have brought them even by your spirit. And I thank you because the Bible declares that no man comes to the Father except through the Son. I decree and declare based on the authority of God's word that your sins are forgiven 
and that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. I declare that you are recipients of the life of God, and from tonight, I commend you to the ministry of the Word and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for your decision. May I request that you please move to my right, all of you. There are counselors waiting to receive you and have a word with you. Koinonia, let's celebrate them as they go. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.